G Money. Yo. Oh man. Got an episode today, man. How you mm-hmm. feel about today's episode, real quick? Working on your birthday, man. Yeah, you know it's my birthday today, but I'm working. Happy yeah. birthday, man. Nah, I'm, Salute to you. No, no, you no, no, turn no. 45 today. Nah, I'm 32, nigga. 32. Hi. Right. Feel good. How you feeling? Good. You look good, man. Leo gang in the building. In fact, your birthday. Your birthday. In uh. Soon. Soon. Uh, 38 minutes. Yo, the the, the bottle popped by itself. You saw that? Yeah, you know, because it, it knew the, the tensions was thicking and German dog dogs in there, nigga. A lot, a lot going on. You know what I'm saying? How you doing, though, man? Nah, we good, we good. You know, we got, you know, the thing is, mm-hmm. you know, a lot of you guys, we got the streets talking. Facts. You know, they're saying that Prem called us and had the video taken down. And the reason why they're saying that is because we decided to honor our fellow brother. Well, let me say this. Bimmy. Yeah, shout out to Bimmy. Shout out to Bimmy. Let me say this, man. Shout out to B.O. as well. You know, you're going to see him again in a couple of... In tuning in your thing. Let me tell you something. You know, disrespect to Prane. Mm-hmm. Salute to him. Salute to everybody. But we... If I take a video down, it's based off of relationships. And there's only one person that can get me to take something down. That's Webb. If it's not Webb or even Nitty, Nitty Cool, Nitty Can as well. If it's not Webb or the person I did the video with, I'm not taking nothing down. So for anybody to think that Prane, you know, we spoke to his people's. Mm. He didn't want the video down. Right. He said he didn't want it down. He wanted to do an interview. Just because you niggas can't get an interview with him, you, you guys got to make up these fairy tales. Do your research. If it's not Webb, if Webb don't call me from where he's at and say, take something down, I'm not taking nothing down. Unless the person that's in the video, like, will flip. Take that down. This is why I don't like having numbers and building relationships. <laughs> I'm saying? B.O. tried to call me and tell me when he takes something out. Told the nigga no. What? He said, you know what? I'm with you. Flip, fuck it. <laughs> fuck that. We riding on him. We riding on him. Mm-hmm. Cause you look good though, man. Rise up, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, oh, man. Freedom's, oh, a, freedom's a must. Oh, oh, oh. Freedom's oh, a must. Oh, you got the talk like that, eh? I don't know what that's about. <laughs> nah, nah, but I feel good though, man. I just wanted to say that, man. Yeah. You know, it's, it's a lot of blessings that we got. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. There's a lot of blogs going around. You know, a lot of people hitting us up after the last interview, man. Yeah, yeah. Bill, Bill caused a stir. You know, the last. You know, so, B. So, B. Pardon me. That's what the talk is. That's personal. But I got to correct you. So, so. He's so back, B, oh, the one and only right. caused right. the stir. All right, all right, so B. B all right. Right. So B caused the stir. And, you know, everybody talking about it. But it's a, you know, it's a classic interview. That's a fact. Check it out. The full episode will be out next week. And it's dope, man. How's everything with you, all right? I want to sh- shout out to my boy Steph one time for doing a surprise uh, birthday joint for, for both of us last week. You know what I'm saying? I hate that shit. Man. Wow. I hate <laughs> we, had, we had the family there. You know what I'm saying? Moms and pops are there. Your moms are there. Um, my wife, my kids. wife, wife, and kids was there, so it was a dope situation. It was a dope look. Shout out to OnStar, he was in the building. Little Mama was in the building. Shout out to Kaya, Kaya Baby was in it. Fancy LaFleur, you know, a lot of people was in the building for us, man. You know what I'm saying? It felt good. Oh, you, you cool, man. Yeah, you cool, man. Yeah, you know that that definitely was dope. Shout out, to, shout out to your mom is also Auntie Bridget for uh, put it together. You know, I definitely don't like surprises, but it was something. It was refreshing. It was good to feel that people, you know, yeah, acknowledge yeah. you, especially when you put a lot of work into yourself. Or put a lot of work in as a boss to, you know, put others in positions for people to be thankful like that. And that was love right there. Yeah, so fun. salute to them. But we about to have a crazy episode. Yes. You know what I'm saying? We about to get down to the bottom. The nitty gritty. Mm-hmm. The nitty gritty. But until then, G Money. <laughs> Yo. Episode motherfucking 97. Nigga, we made it. Oh. Man. So. Man. Before we get into all that, we got to return the guests. So be. The one and only. You know another. You better call him a phony. Mm. <laughs> Unless he's my son physically. Fix the hat one time real quick. Right off the, off, off the, out the gate. <laughs> out the gate. Let's go. <laughs> out the gate. Can you, can you do me a favor? You introduce the comrades that you, because you, you, you caused this. All right. Well, it's Brother Head, man. We have over almost a 40 year history. Wow. You know, all the stories I told, he was there, you know, from mm. Boys Home to DFY to Rackers Island to Upstate, from the land to the can, back to the land. Wow. So it's more of an honor now, you know, because all our history is behind the scenes. So today was like pivotal me, you know, I, I mean, I, I really felt it and when he came through, and when you told me and I was speaking to him and I believed I could make something happen that I believe 
my nonprofit organization, Be Mad, Black Men Making a Difference, along with his organization, Rise Up, we could really make the difference and show that we not just talking. Mm. So to bring you and the homie Chris together, that's something from 10 years prior, this is God given. Mm. You feel me? At the end of the day, this is what I do. You know, my company, my company Black Mobile Inc. This is what we do, you know what I'm saying, behind the scenes, real triple OG niggas coming here, bringing younger brothers together and show them, yeah, we can have our differences, but at the end of the day, it's about what we're doing now. And this is going to show to other brothers that you could have a solution to a minute problem. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce my comrade, Jock, one of Queen's finest. Mm. Big homie Jock. Salute, Jock. What's up, man? Rise up. Rise, Rise up. up. How you doing? Freedom is always a must. Mm, I'm yeah. okay, man. You know, I'm putting it together. Hey, hey, you're like, you know a lot of stuff, man. And you're just throwing hints out there. <laughs> <laughs> throwing hints out there. How's everything, man? Everything's good, man. I'm trying to keep, you know, the peace with um with the little homies out in these streets, man. Uh -huh. That's the most important thing, man. A lot of them being Amen. misled. A lot of manipulation is going down, and they being left out there in the streets by themselves like lone wolves and shit, you know? Got you. Respect, respect, respect. And you brought, your, you brought, you brought Chris. Yeah, and this this is this is little bro. Okay. This is my comrade. Respect. You understand? Respect. Respect. This is my comrade. So I heard about the situation that occurred, and knowing that he had you at heart, I said, "Little, let's make this happen real quick." Because this is an example Rah! of what we we intend to do. Uh -huh. This is a prime example. Things like this. Bring mm. peace. Basically. So, 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 what's up, man? Chris, what's up, man? Chris, what's up? Yeah. So, for, for the people that don't know, this is the guy that broke my jaw in 2008. Wow. Nice to meet you. Yes. Right. Nice, nice to meet you. I mean, it's an unfortunate situation, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. It's <laughs> trying to be cool with it. It is, you know. Facts. Well, well let me, let me, you know. My, my, As they develop. Yes. Well, let me, let me tell you what I remember. Let's take us back, take us back. Take us back. I remember... After the, I remember after. Yes, but remember I, after. We'll tell that story after. After you call my phone and all this craziness. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what I remember is, uh, shout out to Joe Money. Free him. Free him. Locked up? Yeah. Free him. Wait, Free Joe bro. Money. It was his home, man. Yeah. Free him. Recently? Free him. Free Joe Money. Okay, Free Joe yeah. Money. I, I ain't know that. Free. So, uh, you know, he used to... Before, you know, he, he got locked up. He was with me all the time. You mm. know, fun house and shit. Nice. Me, him, Kaya. And um, Joe was saying, yo, come over uh, to Lincoln Park. Now, at the time, even though being from Queens, I didn't know about Lincoln Park. Webb and them niggas kept me only by Linden and Farmers. 40 projects, basically, I didn't know about Lincoln. I can be honest and say it. Didn't know. Mm. <laughs> but you was held accountable. I was, hold on, I'm, I'm going to fix that. Hold on. I learned about it. Oh, well, <laughs> I learned. Now Everything you know, Lincoln. Now I know. <laughs> and when I passed by there, now I know. <laughs> so I went to Lincoln Park. It was a nice festivities. Everybody outside, you know, people making burgers. And it was nice. A great turn on What was going on that day, though? It was, it was a, what? It's a community. It's a community. community. Okay, I'm saying community. That, that, that day, what was going on? Was it a it was like, I don't know. It was a basketball, basketball game. Basketball game? Or? It was a basketball game. And mm. they wanted me to do At the time, we had... Martin Lawrence, but Martin Lawrence was, was just, out, right. yeah, Martin Lawrence was like coming towards the end of Martin Lawrence. Mm -hmm. You know what's crazy? I heard about Martin Lawrence's name at that time, but I'm like, what the fuck did Martin Lawrence come to Lincoln Park for? Like, yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, understand yeah, the whole yeah. situation, man. Like, what yeah. I heard afterwards. That was yeah, our, yeah, that, yeah, that was our record we had. Was record. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I go to Lincoln Park, I get on the mic. It was talking about something with basketball. And I remember saying on the mic, on the mic, I never heard of you niggas. Said that on the mic. I don't know what made me say really? it. Really? I said it on the mic. How'd you get on the mic? You, ho you hosting? Or Prime you just... Tom gave me the mic. It was okay. Talk. Oh, shit. And then Martin Lawrence and niggas. And it's like, hey, they were like, yo, you know how, but because of, you know how, in front of the hood, they, they, right. yo, what's up, what's up, man? Yo, what's up, Queen Flip? Mm. I said, man, I never heard of y'all niggas, man, playing basketball. That's what I was talking about basketball. Right. Wow. I never heard of you niggas. That's what I said. Put the mic down, bought a burger, walked around. The uh the the that little house thing we used the bathroom yeah, mm -hmm. around there, a guy named Durrell. Salute to him. Shout out to him. I like him. I met him after. 
chopped it up with him. Solid dude. Mm. I always remember him. I must have remember him now, but I remember him. <laughs> and, and, and shout out, shout out to Darrell. I walk around the world like, nigga, what you mean you never heard of him? What's up? Jesus. Yeah. So what you mean? What's up? Jesus. Then somebody came to my left. Crack. No, 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 He spoke to. Now I remember. He came to my left. He said, "Um, he said, what's up? What you mean? What's up? I said, I never heard of y'all niggas, but I'm talking about basketball. You said, oh, oh. yeah, yeah. But I, I cleared it right there. I'm talking about basketball. He said, no, you trying to be funny. Then I said, I never heard of you niggas. Oh, so he took it there, yeah, right? Yeah, after. yeah, 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 said, yeah, yeah. I had my, wow. I, 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 easy just came. I had easy with me. Mm. I had easy with me right on, on the right of me. So he said, somebody said to the left, which was Chris, was like, yo, man, nigga, like, don't do all that. Now, you don't need to do all that. And if you want to shoot the fair one, go up there and fight him one on one. I said, I'll go. I said, let me give my man the hammer. This is what I said. I remember eating the burger. It was a good burger. I always remember this fucking hamburger. <laughs> okay, lady, what kind of hamburger? Man, you don't, don't want to cream that the, the, the lady put some type of... Yo, shout out to Lincoln Park, man. <laughs> that's, I, I'll never forget. That. that burger was good, boy. Yeah, that's cat, man. That was cat burger. Cat, oh, yeah, that's cat. That was out of cat, man. Free out of cat, too, man. Oh, what? Free out of cat. That shit was fire. Yeah. I turned my head. I remember Easy was on the right of me. So let me get my man. I turned... He, all I know, niggas say go fight up there. I said, hold on, I, I'm so good. I said something to him. I did say something to you, but you can you can you can say it because I don't. It's scattered, but I said something to you. Then I turned my head. I said, hold on, I'll go fight you. Let me get my man to him. That's what I did. I turned my head, looked at Easy, crack. I bet. I remember that. I'm, just, I'm like this. The rail. Every everybody else behind me scattered. He backed up this way. The world was the only one looking at me like this, like some crazy shit. Yeah, never, boy. I, 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 I never forget Lincoln that shit. Park. I never forget that. He stood there like this, yeah. I said, oh, I looked. Joe Wyatt, hanging. And I walked out the park. I walked out. Oh. Walked out the park. Walked out the park. <laughs> it was police and ambulance. Police there, took it all in. Police. like this. We don't know what happened. Police and ambulance. Uh. Thank you. I'm happy that he admitted it. Because it's been rumors for years that your flip, you had, why you didn't do nothing? I said there was police in the park. I don't want to go to jail. Well, I did talk shit and I got my. Then truck. what you gonna do with a broke jaw, though? I, I didn't do nothing. I walked it's out. Over. Because if you hit it again, it's, it's gonna over. be it's gonna get missing. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. I agree, OG. That's what I'm saying. I agree. Yeah. I, I agree. But I'm saying I walked out the park. Now, fast forward. Not fast forward to today. I walked out the park. Hold on, hold on. What happened to the hammer, though? What, what you mean, the hammer? The, the one you, the one you passed. It was, it, was, it, was it was on me. It was on me. Oh, so you never passed it to no, your I man? No, I never passed it to him. Oh, I and that was the problem with Easy. That's what he was saying because there was a lot of speculation of your man was flash dancing. There was a lot of speculation, and he for, was. For, 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 well, he didn't have the hammer. But he was acting like he had it. I didn't know he, he acted like he had the hammer. I didn't Role see play. Him. I ain't <laughs> see it. <laughs> I know. I know what I said and what I did. Okay. And, and, and salute to like I said, free my man Joe Money. Now he locked up. He can verify the niggas out there can say I said that. I don't know what Easy did. I don't know if he had, but I know I had. I said I'ma pass it. Got my shit cracked. Walked out the park. Now, when I went to the park, got my mouth wired. Every day for about seven days, I went to the park. I laid on the bench. It's on YouTube. I recorded it. I'm looking for no, I'm looking for these niggas that are laid on the bench. There's a kid named Junior that played basketball that saw me on the avenue. It's my son. You keep coming around the park. We know that's you with the, the two G's. Yeah, two, G, two G's. Two G's. We know that's oh, you in the X three. Cause I had a, it was Stack Bundle's name on the back of it. Yeah. We know that's you. You keep circling. Niggas is gonna. That's what he told me. I'll never forget. He told me that on Jamaica Avenue. I said, I just want the nigga that broke my jaw. So I said, I just want the nigga that broke my jaw. Said the same thing I said to Domination. I came into the park. He said he saw me after that one time. I don't remember that, but he gonna refresh my memory. I came to the park again. Free Domo. Free Domo. I spoke to Domination. Domination told me to my face, Flip, I know your cousin Webb. So you came here and talked shit in this park. You gotta buy, you gotta take that on the chin. That's what he told me. You gotta take that. If we would have came to Merrick or Lyndon and Farmers and said that to you, and we gotta take that. You gotta take that. He asked me, do you and you talk shit? I said, yes. I said, but I just want to meet the nigga. That's what I can say. This show. He said, that's not, nah, fuck all that shit. That's meet him and do what, though? You going to meet him? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Nah, <laughs> you want to meet him? And... <laughs> I didn't know. I was just doing it. You always say you want to meet him. Like, you want to know he, why he, he broke yeah. your jaw? Yo, yeah, he, yo, he was wild. I could tell he was wild. Mm. He ain't no direction he was going, my nigga. Like, I appreciate that. Uh, me and him was having an intellectual conversation and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Right. He He wowed out. That's his name? Queens Flip? Yeah, he flipped. Yeah. He wowed out, though, <laughs> in a legendary park, bro. Facts. Like, I come from 
OGs, bro, and there's levels. Like, even I don't give a fuck. Niggas know me, my nigga. Like, I got young boys. A lot of my young boys is known. Free trigger eye. Shots to my nigga mm. Rel. You know what I'm okay. saying? Shots on my back street, nigga. Shots my niggas across the bridge. Mm. Shots to my niggas on 164. But shots to my big homies. You know what I'm saying? And we always learn to listen. Fall back and see what's going on. You know what I'm saying? So it's like a, a, a little situation happening. I'm fresh off the dips. I used to work out crazy. Mm. I'm trained by boxers, my nigga. Like, I wouldn't get in the ring, but I box with my niggas who train in box. Right. So my slap boxing is up. You know what I'm saying? I used to do dips. I'm doing everything, like, in... So you was up and ready. I'm nigga. up and ready, my nigga. And Soldier. I'm ready. Listen, shout out, to my, shout out to my nigga Preem. Not Preem from Baisley. Preem from Brooklyn, you know what I'm saying? He's an OG. He was down with, um, uh, uh, what is it? He was he was actually in the movie. Um, Preem from Four Green. Yeah, no, yeah. no, not Preem from Four Green. Which no. one? He was in Son, um, was the education of Sonny Carson. He was in the movie. Oh, he, he was, was down with man. the actual oh, yeah. time of the laws and shit. Mama. He showed yeah. me how to fight. That's 50 Cent, the rapper's uncle. You see, you said 50 workout and all that shit. You know what I mean? I mean, from what's He's a jolly stomach like my mother yeah, was. No, yeah, no, the, they official, bro. Mm -hmm. He taught me a lot of stuff. I used to see him. I, I, I used to be with him. Mm -hmm. And one thing I noticed about him, he used to call me. He, he used to need me to keep him, keep his fighters motivated. You see mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Because we come from nothing. We come from Queens. You see what I'm saying? So, like, in Queens, we have extra. It's always extra. Everybody think that we, like, soft. We run through. Right. Oh, I, I said third, but we got south side. But it's like, even with Southside, like, y'all only respect Southside, or y'all only respect Far Rock, or y'all only respect Queensbridge. Like, right. it's more to Queens than that. And what part Queens you from? I'm you from Jamaica, Queens. Heard you. South Ozone Park. That goes from Lincoln Park, 111, mm -hmm. all the way to Rockaway and Southern. Gotcha. If you look on the map, you're going to see it. You'll be right from Southside. That's Southside, bro. If you look at all the fucking... That's right. Uh, 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 the, uh, the, yeah, the, 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 the fucking um, post offices, all of them say Jamaica. Even all the way down the north side. Springfield, right there by Merrick. Look on that shit. It says Jamaica. Or want to say, like, but it, but it lets you know. So we... We basically doing now, like, well, then what we was doing, like, what we doing now. And that shit is separating us. You know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. like, how he says he came to Lincoln Park and he didn't know what Lincoln Park is. This is a monumental spot because we have nothing. Right. This is all we have on a on a, on a a commercial level. But on a street level, like, niggas know about Southside. But, like, you know, so it's like, damn. But what we want to hear is that from your point of view, what happened that day, what you remember? All right. I was working out. I ain't gonna front. I came out South Tony Touch Barber Shop, you know what I'm saying? We, I know I'm, I'm, I was working out crazy. I came out the shit, you know? Rel's my young boy, so I go to the park. I ain't even talk. I, I don't call nobody or nothing. I just pop up there and shit. I see him. He pick up his phone once. He ain't call nobody. He put the phone back. I seen him. I know my young boy, bro. He's about to call me, my nigga. You see, he picked the phone up again. He ain't call nobody again. He put the shit there, boom. So then I pop up. Yo, what's up, man? You good? I see you stressing. I bet Pete Tim. He's stressing. I see him arguing with you. Mm -hmm. But I know my young boys. These niggas is ready to go in with anybody. You see what I'm saying? But not because they think they like, you know what I'm saying? Because they, they already know, like, damn, I got to bring this to my nigga. And how I'm going to bring this to him? And I ain't even get this shit handled yet. So it's like, so I pop up, boom. He like, yo, I ain't going to front, my nigga. I'm like, I, I, I have people from out the block, my nigga. What's good? You know what I mean? I'm not, now I'm peeping you. You like mad aggressive and shit with, 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 with niggas. I, I, I ain't gonna front. I see my whole hood. Shout out to my hood. Yeah, but okay. at that day, the niggas was quiet, my nigga. The only nigga who was making noise was my nigga Rel and my nigga Kruger. Shout out to him. You see what I'm saying? Like So we pulled up. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? It's me and my nigga Darren. Darren's the one who fit the uncle train, my nigga. He's a workout nigga too, but he's he's my ear, how I'm his ear. You see what I'm saying? So how he need me in the ring, I need him in the streets. You see what I'm saying? So we moving around and shit. So we come through over there. I see you arguing him. I'm like, damn, this nigga don't know my lung. This young boy is ignorant. And at, at this point, he's ignorant. He don't know nobody. He's wilding, bro. And you arguing with him. So I'm like, yo, listen, yo, be easy, y'all. I just answered third. You the going off. Yo, chill, chill, chill. Listen, relax. If it's that serious, you and my young boy go shoot the one. I remember that. Because he need ones. At this age, you you older than me, I think. And he sh like he, like, like he needs that. So you know what we're going to do? Let my nigga get that one with you. You go over there. my Your man's, yo, you stay right here with us, my nigga. Remember, I, 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 I talk, you know what I mean? That's and then your man, like, yo, no, you know what I mean? I'm like, yo. This yeah, is that's how shit gets settled yeah. real quick, Like, yo, though. listen, my nigga, yeah. look. Y'all niggas is going, beefing, bro. You know what I mean? We not doing all of this, my nigga. Like, yo, you go talk to my man. Go in the house. Yo, listen, your man, chill with us. We got your boy. Y'all do y'all thing. Listen, nobody going to jump. Nobody ain't nobody nobody doing none of that, homie. Listen, I remember that. What's good? And then, yeah. 
But see, they could have stomped you out. I don't understand it mm-hmm. because it's like, yo, why is he good? Uh, look, listen, I know a lot of niggas from Queens, bro. Why is he good in like this? Is something happening? Is something, like, this is Lincoln Park. We don't fuck with niggas. This is a part where we put a lot of niggas from Queens on the map. Mm-hmm. Cheek said it. We putting Queens on the map. That's, that's yeah. my nigga. Shout out to Mr. Cheek. Shout out to Freaky Todd. You know, we watched them coming in, like, coming in the game. Shout out to Federal Star. We watched them. Nice. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to Queens, my nigga, let's let let let's, let's, let's be real. Like, it wasn't nothing popping since, like, LL and, and um, Run DMC. Shout out to them. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But I know about the Hollis Southside beef and what's that in the third. It was like egos. It's, 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 it's egotistical. Even when it comes to the to the to the Ja Rule and Fifty, you know, like, like niggas, y'all niggas beef is about some North Side South Side shit, bro. Let's like let, let, let's just keep it a stack, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like niggas is from Queens, bro. Like I don't give a fuck about your personal shit. Ain't my personal shit. We gotta get this shit together, my nigga. Like look, Cheeks and them brought the first time y'all seen DJ Clue ever. I don't give a fuck what nobody say was in whose video. Last cool to beam was in the bands, bro. Got you, but bro. You, and, 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 we, and I want you to talk and let it all, but you, you, you gotta get to like your part, like as far as where the crack happened. The crack <laughs> happened. He was still the crack, crack happened okay. because it's like, <laughs> I couldn't can, I can understand <laughs> how you didn't notice. How you didn't notice. I'm like, yo, you like, you're not respecting nothing. Like, what's up with these niggas? Like, I see my mans is a little at ease. They got respect for you, bro. That's the reason. As later on as I found out why, they had respect for you, bro. When I start seeing how niggas is handling you, I'm like, yo, what the fuck? I did that for y'all, but why y'all niggas is worried about what this nigga talk about? I ain't know what's going on. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? That's just real shit. These are my little young boys, bro, and I ain't gonna So front. you punched me in the jaw because <laughs> Because I I'm you. trying to tell you to shoot the fire with my man, Bobby. <laughs> he's he's a he's a young boy, you know what I'm saying? But he need work. And you gonna give him some work or he gonna give you some work. Fact, but okay. y'all got a problem. Y'all gonna handle that. But guess what? Your man is chilling with us. Yeah, life's gonna get So we're gonna show you some kind of trust, because we from Queens. We should be able to politic. And be able to control our situation like that. Right. Niggas shouldn't know. Right. These niggas shouldn't know. They should know we beefing, my nigga. Right. All right? Bang. You like, yo, I ain't gonna front, but who is you? Dog. Oh. That's what happened. That was the question. Now, my history. I got scars on my hands, all yeah. that shit, bro. I'm known for fucking niggas up. I'm known for knocking niggas out. Mm. I'm known for that. Like, mm-hmm. from my side, across the bridge, everybody niggas know no fuck with me, my nigga. Like, we on some chill shit, bro. But, like, we official niggas and we go up under the levels. So it's like, Damn, bro, I done lined you up so you can do your thing and you can get what it is. But my son's not no pussy, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Even though he's stepping up for his young boys as he should, like, but he ain't no pussy. But I'm not going to let you run him down. Like, I got to step up from him. That's my young boy. My nigga get it in. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, damn. When you told me that, it's like, damn, homie, I gave you every fucking route you wanted. What the fuck you want me to do? So I had to step to you. Got it. But then what's crazy is because now I'm like, damn. I've been shot before, too, and all that. So I'm like, damn. Why my niggas acting crazy for? Your man got the gun on him or something, my nigga? So that's why when I hit you, I ran up to your man. What's up? Yo, 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 keep your fucking hands still. What's up with you, my nigga? Lift that shirt up, my nigga. Lift the shirt up. He ain't got no gun. So now, I'm, I'm, now my brain is like in a... Because understand, I wasn't there when this happened. I came out of nowhere, bro. Like, yo, what the fuck into the situation? So it's like, you might have a gun, might want to hurt my friend. This nigga act like he got a gun. Who the fuck is this nigga? I get it in, my nigga. What's up, nigga? I'm ready to die for like, like, what's like, what's up? I don't know, bro. Like, we have family members and shit. That's my best friend. Well, my young boy best friend. So Rel's official nigga, my nigga. Like, his mom's is solidified and all that. It's like, what the fuck? How is this happening, bro? Like, what the fuck is so, going on? So, so, so I asked who you are. You punched me in the jaw. Do you remember me walking out? Did you? Because I, I remember when I turned around. I, I didn't pay you no mind. Once I hit you. Boom. I'm like I this. I saw with the real. I saw you move. He was on you. Like so, it's good now. Was, uh, I saw. I saw him. That's it. And, and uh, you as moved. they but should. I, I I I didn't know you went to 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 to, to my family. So I, I I can't vouch or say yes or no. But I did see the real in front of me, and I walked right past him. Yeah, but you gotta understand, bro. Like his father is father Tahim, bro. Like no, no, no. I don't say that for no, no. No, listen. I'm, no, I'm, no, I'm, no, no. Let me tell you, Rails come up, no, bro. No, hold on. You can talk about Rails come up, but listen. I'm, I'm gonna say this because I don't want you, I, I don't want anything to misconstrue that I'm taking anything away from the homie, bro. I met him after. Yeah, I like him. I like him a lot. That's the homie. We had a conversation way after the situation. Gave nigga a hug and all that. Cause I, 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 I seen it two times, bro. I respect. I respect. How he held it down, him. 
You, I was mad at you for a long time. You know why? Because you, you. you didn't understand the brotherly love that somebody had. I, I, I thought I snuck it. I didn't know why you wanted to tell me. Let me tell you something, bro. Was, bro. His father grew up. His <laughs> father, listen, homie, 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 listen to this. His father was in prison, bro. His father was in prison. Hold on, you can't say that. I can't say that. I asked you. I didn't ask you. I was talking to the red. I didn't. You don't understand the brotherly love, yeah, then, bro. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Introduce you to that hammer. Listen, bro. Listen, that's my little brother, my nigga. This nigga is official. He's already signed. It's about love and loyalty, man. I cannot let nothing happen to him. I understand. I got stuck to his moms, my nigga. I like, hear you. I hear that's you. not a game. So listen. If that's my young boy, and I'm trying to talk to you, the y'all niggas are isolated situation. We're going to get this up out of here. And you. Say that to me. I, I, you're you're embarrassing me now. I'm thinking that me and you. I'm trying to show my young boy. I mean, you can talk, bro. And we was talking, my nigga. But you never hollered at me. After why you never reached out? You never know Why? I broke your jaw, bro. Listen. Actually, Joe, Joe I didn't Martin mean to do that. M takes up too. Listen, niggas, bro. I did not mean to break they your jaw. They could have been introduced us, bro. They were scared, bro. He didn't know how hard he hit. They didn't know. He they know I'm involved with some shit, homie. Yeah, like, look, they know, yo, that nigga. He's in tune with them, and he does this and he does that. Let's be real, my nigga. A lot of niggas. You know what, tell me, uh, the, uh, niggas from uh, um, Rockaway as well. Uh, the Bricks. Shout out to my niggas, the man. Bricks here, Frito and them. Shout out to my nigga Frito, man. E e even the Shout out to the whole. Even over the payback niggas. The payback. Niggas. Listen, those are my. That's that's my that's my god brothers in the bro. Like, Rumbles. Listen. I asked all them niggas. Listen. Nobody want to introduce me to this nigga. Why? That's it. I don't understand. They say he put. They say that he's known for something. I ain't like to talk about it on camera. All right, cool. Look, can I meet him? Yeah, but look. It was fucked up because we met. My jaw hurt. My no, jaw but listen, it was crazy. Cause even, I can say look, I had plates in my shit. Look, the snow gang niggas told me, yo, I ain't gonna front. We seen a nigga. We in the hospital with him. He got the, he got the situation. We ain't want to tell a nigga. What they talking about? You want to tell a nigga? Tell a nigga? Like, everybody was uncomfortable, bro. You created an uncomfortable situation. I didn't know that. I shouldn't have did that. Because niggas really had love for you, bro. Like, I no, no. I said they don't. They, they, they still have love for you, but they couldn't, they, they, they wasn't able to express that to me. You see what I'm saying? Cause they loyalty's really with me, bro. Like, like, yo, Chris, I love them, but you, you know, I'm like, okay, all right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I have to respect that. It's like I try to situate it. Even Levin, nigga, Levin, when this house is popped, like, I need to meet the nigga that broke my jaw. Bro, listen. Can you point me in the right direction? Listen. Yeah, but like, like I said earlier, if you if you had met him back then, it, it would have been no, listen, it'd been bad, bro. And I think, we live across the bridge. Listen, listen, listen. 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 <laughs> it'd have been bad. Exactly. Does anybody know about him? Look, man. So I think I think everybody everybody like you say got love for you. People got love for him. They yeah. try to keep y'all apart because they know oh, it's gonna be bad. Exactly. Listen, even when you highlight your OGs, bro, mm -hmm. that shit right came back to me, my nigga. The OGs came back to me, bro. Not even with that. Like even at that day, at, at like at that time, bro. Shout out to oh fucking um Ob. Shout out to Malcolm. Shout out to Shiraz. Mm -hmm. Like those are the niggas who web and them niggas. You know they oh, fuck with good. them niggas, my nigga. I don't know that. Mm -hmm. How do I know that? Like you know what I'm saying? It's the listen. It's the it's it's I'm trying to it's levels, bro. You see what I'm saying? So even with the clue in them and, and the Fox fam and the Lost Boys and that shit is not a game, bro. You think the LB would have just been able to come up like that? Them niggas was official niggas. They was from an official area, and this is what it came. So when you come to Lincoln Park, he got, he got, he got a lot to say. Look, yeah. when you come to Lincoln like, Park, like, 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 you don't know what it is. Yeah, trying to play us? That's like going to Brownsville or you going to right. certain. Area. I don't know y'all niggas. What? I agree. Let me tell you something. So let me, let, me this up. let me tell you something. I can, as a man, I can say that. You know, what I'm at the time, at the time, especially when you have a record going, and you know, you know, no over. And then my cousin, who being who he is, and just on the radio, the, the songs Yo, on the radio. Man, I was feeling. Listen, listen. I was feeling. Mm -hmm. I was feeling away, and I knew how I was moving. Now it happened. It happened. I was out of pocket. Yeah, even with eyes. You're a big man for even saying that. Disrespecting Look. the pub. I shouldn't have went into Lincoln Park. You shouldn't have did that. Nobody, bro. Nobody. Listen, Nike is just now sh sh showing us love. Nigga, these you crazy? Like, come on, let's fucking Lincoln Park, my nigga. Gotcha, and everybody gotcha. knows Lyndon in the van. Me and my man did our thing hand in hand. What the mm -hmm. fuck? Niggas don't know that. Hey, everybody know everybody that did. from Queens, bro. Like, let's just keep that a stack, my nigga. Look, That's a fact. we wasn't able to move around if it wasn't for certain shit. And even with the north side and the south side, bro, that shit is that shit is crazy, right? When I watch this shit, I grew up with a lot of niggas from the north side, bro. I grew up with a lot of niggas from over here on this side of the bridge, on my side of the bridge. That shit is whack, my nigga. Because when you get in that jail, when you get around certain niggas who's your enemy, they don't give a fuck about, oh, me and you mm. beefing. Yo, let's pop both them niggas. Them niggas is fucking Queens niggas. What? What's up, nigga? Why are we not fucking together? Why? Why? What's the problem, my nigga? Y'all niggas ain't got no beef with us. We ain't got no beef with y'all. So, but let, me ask you, but, but let me ask you a question, though. And, and this is what I asked. 
I asked B.O. I asked So B. I asked So B. I'm like, yo, what's the temperature, man? Because, like, how did, how his OG know he broke my jaw? Is he glorifying it? Because that's, that's what I was mm. mad about for years. I'm just being honest. I was mm. mad about because people used to write comments on YouTube, and even somebody called them my show. Like, yo, then you get your jaw broken in Lincoln Park, and that's they made see that like, I was chased out the park and all that, and the only story was, was false rumors. Did I leave the park? Yes. Walked out the park very slowly. I couldn't run because my jaw was broken. And the police was there, up, bro. You brought it back up. You huh? Yeah, out front. I was talking about that I shit. When you ask Cheeks, cheeks. You. listen, when you ask home. Cheeks, bro, listen. Shout out to Mr. Ball. Cheeks, bro. That's a fact. Shout out to the whole Queens Most Wanted. Mm -hmm. Shout out to my niggas. Those are my big bros, man. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Ask him on the show. When you right? ask that nigga, man, that nigga didn't want to talk to you about that, bro. You ain't, you ain't getting no full conversation with him like that. That's the loyalty, my nigga. Mm. Like, you got to understand that, my nigga. Like, this is, look, when you see the stick, man, mm -hmm. let's, let's, nigga, we, nigga, that's my stick, man. I stick with that nigga. I will stick you out. I will pop. Whatever, my nigga. This is my people. This is Queens. This is what we have to understand. Look, 164. You got Sufton. You got 40 Projects. You got Rochdale. Man, niggas, ah, ah, don't fuck with each other. When they get in the jail, bro, you do you think they give a fuck about that? When you get around some official niggas, you think you want to hear, oh, you from Springfield. Or nah, oh, y'all niggas from Van Nah, so y'all niggas, why y'all not together about, for? So your, your point right now is, is saying unity. Unity, unify. Mm -hmm. Why me and you here are right you, now? Are you practicing? Uh, did you practice what you preach? Practice or, what I preach. Oh, I mean. wait, wait. Let me finish. <laughs> did you? Did you? Did you learn from this experience? That Nigga, you, I've been you, learned. I didn't want to teach it. I don't want to be a teacher to you. That's a fact. <laughs> man. That's what that was. Nah, he, I don't want to do it. that one, nigga. He I'm trying to explain it. Good to you lesson. Right now. He said it. He now said we it. out here. You know what I mean? Now, now it's all out there, bro. Yeah. I like, I like, I like, it's official. Yo, so question. When you? I like that. I like it. I like it. When they first called you about this interview, like how'd you how'd you feel initially when they when they I'm first like, called yo, you? What the fuck, my nigga? What he wants? First way he when he first mentioned it with Cheeks, I'm like, damn, I said Cheeks handle it. That's mm. the big homie, my nigga. Right. That's, that's, that's not that's not getting yeah. fucked up. The first time I seen Big L, first time I seen Cannabis, first time I seen anybody who was about to be anybody, Mr. Cheeks brought them to Lincoln Park, bro. Mm. I I go for, I remember seeing Tupac one day, my nigga. They came through. Oh shit, what the fuck, Tupac doing Lincoln Park, my nigga? Mm. Lincoln Park. You skip to my Lou. Facts. Lamar Odom. Mm -hmm. We seeing this shit, my nigga. This is not a game here, bro. And them niggas is regular. Like, yo, niggas, we got niggas getting money. Lefty and Jazz and them niggas. Them niggas was fucking official, bro. Like, you can ask niggas. Whoever y'all want to interview, ask me. Because y'all come across the bridge by Lincoln Park and take over the NBA blocks. No. No. Niggas couldn't do that, bro. All right, so how so how back to how how do you feel when you played the call? He does that. How do how, you feel like what, what you felt when they, when they called you and said you want you to come on the platform? I ain't talk about front. The I feel that this what I'm talking about right now is how I felt, bro. Mm -hmm. I no, felt but like you're going, yo, you gotta stick to it, my nigga. We're gonna stick to this, man. man. Listen, stick to it, man. You're going all over the place. Let's, let's all right, stick listen. To it. And we can talk about everything else. When they called you, say yeah, ask a question. Yeah, when, when they called you, how did you feel initially? Like, did, did you say nine nah, doing that shit or fuck that? Ass, I ain't ass, or, front. Did I you feel both. like you know? That's, I felt both. I felt like, why am I doing that for? Like, this nigga trying to lie me or something? Or mm -hmm. yo, should I do it? I don't, I don't give a fuck. It's really hard. I don't care, bro. Like, I'm not no pussy, my nigga. Like, no, yeah, we, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like a conversation is nothing, my nigga. But it's like, we like, what are we getting out of this? Question, question, mm -hmm. intervene. Let's talk about it. What made you have the confidence? To come to a decision and say, you know something, I'm gonna do that. Cause I'm a Queens nigga. I have to have confidence. It's no if ands, maybe's, buts, none of that shit, man. I have to have it. Cause a lot of niggas look down on us already. But I'm not saying that. We understand you a soldier. But I'm saying to my, it was the comrade who basically came to you. Oh, I don't ask no questions. Once my right, no, he shit, made the call. You listen, that's that, call. man. Right, that's a, right. that's a reaction. Yeah. That's like feeling the burn and going like this. Like, fuck that, man. And my nigga told me what it is, and that's what it's going to be, man. Like, it is what it is. I'm going to have to talk about it. It's done that, like, I, 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 can't get, I can't get away from that. I did that. And I go front. Again, I apologize, my nigga, because it wasn't for that, my nigga. You see what I'm saying? That's I didn't right. understand you know, how you didn't understand. Like, that's, what that's the fuck right. who this nigga? <laughs> is he really an op? Because how he don't know what the fuck is going on, bro? Like, you know what's crazy? How could you be living in Queens and don't know that Lincoln Park is where they shot the four of the Because it's the signs of the times. It's the signs of the times, though, bro. It's the signs of the times. Like, yo, you got you got dudes who on both sides, on all sides, who don't know certain individuals, man. Not dudes true. is dumbed down. They That's taught true. the wrong shit so they can stay dumbed down. And things like this happen because of that. Mm -hmm. Dudes don't know who's who. Others don't give a fuck who's who. And then things start happening. It's you know what I mean? Man. You know what's crazy? It doesn't make sense. We don't follow protocol in this borough like we're supposed to. Mm. Facts. Free. Facts. You understand? Domination, bro. 
Mm-hmm. And and what he's saying is real. Like, that's my brother. That's all our brothers, man. Like, you know, that's Freaky Todd's nephew, man. I mean, cousin. That's his first cousin, bro. Like, uh-huh. his name was on the album credits and all that, man. Uh-huh. The whole Queens ain't want to fuck with him. I don't know why, what the fuck happened. But as soon as Ja come home, guess what? Oh, we don't got no problems with him, and What the fuck? Y'all just wanted to kill him a minute ago. Now that Jock is home. But see, that's the respect level. You see what I'm saying? Like, it's really levels so to this is shit. Why, this is why you, you, you can trust when Jock said, yo. Yeah, certain shit. But it's crazy because, like, damn. Niggas don't make no noise no other kind of way. But, like, y'all try to intimidate and do this and that and the third. We not no pussies, homie. Like, we never, we's about money, man. And people get it fucked up because Queens niggas is about some bread. That means we must be soft, my nigga. Is you crazy? Nah. We kill for the money, my nigga. But at that time, but we trying to learn how to live with each other. You see right. what I'm saying? We have children now, man. I have a son about to be 18, bro. Like, let's keep it a stack. You know oh, what I'm wow. saying? Bless, you know, bless, bless, I went to August bless. Martin. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. With stack bundles. I remember him and niggas was in the rap group, the, the, the Grits gang. And, mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm. I seen I seen niggas, beautiful people come up and get killed, bro. True. True. Why? Because the niggas is hating on each other? Because the influence of another motherfucker? That's how we fuck go, out of here, man. Life is fucked up. Yeah. But that's yeah, why it is. It's, so. If life is fucked up, let's start, let's start fucking them niggas up then. If that's how life is, let's start doing that to them too, then, my nigga. Yo, like, so, it's a two-way street, bro. Yo, so, so question. Um, how was Lincoln Park now in 2019? Shit it, is it, lovely. I'm but saying, it's still, is it the same? Nah, it's still a lot. Like, you know, there's a lot of problems going on in Queens that nobody's talking about. Mm-hmm. A lot of, like, frustrations and shit. It's past what we're talking about. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, bro, that shit is a representation of the society. It's not right. just a Queens thing. It's a New York thing, bro. Right. New York niggas ain't popping like that unless we learn to unify. If we're not going to unify, we're not getting nowhere, bro. So where where are all the big homies at, like, before? You know what I'm saying? Cause I, I'm from that. I'm cut from that same cloth. You know what I'm saying? Where, you know, I, I grew up. A lot up. of the big homies get money and go to Atlanta and say, fuck New York and fuck certain shit. Right. So they feel like <laughs> I ain't yeah, there. They get a lot of time, too. Yeah, they get a lot of time, mm. too. But the ones that's out and the ones that got a little bit of pull, they don't really give two fucks about niggas. Like, where the new big homies at? Because, you know, I, I grew up from the club where, you know, I'm, I'm from the, the 40 Project, 111 area. You know, I'm from that area, too, South Side. So I grew up where, on my block, you know what I'm saying, whether it's me and my team or whatever it was, if somebody doing something, we, we, we take care of it. You know what I'm saying? Or if somebody disrespected somebody, Parents or grandparents or somebody spoke in front of somebody, you'll put, you'll put it out. You know what I'm saying? It's, it was a respect level before. Now it's like they don't give a fuck now. Because you know it's like it's so a I want to say where, where, where the young big homies at? That, All right. That's, 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 it's, a, it's a disconnection. It's like 30 years. It's like 10, 10, and 10, right? So you got the 35ers, the 25ers, and you got the 15-year-old niggas, man. All right? So in order for the 15-year-old niggas to keep in contact with 35-year-old niggas, they got to go through the 25-year-old niggas. Right. If them niggas ain't really jacking you like that, man, you's a fucking dub, my nigga. Everything you represent is a dub. So it's important that we need to stay together and keep together in order for us to really identify who is who. Because we don't know how we going to test a nigga loyalty and a nigga ain't representing for the niggas who put him on. Right. How we going to put the and, and the niggas under him don't even give a fuck. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Let me, well, let me say something real quick. Someone want to say something too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's what we have. I, I believe, you know, from my own personal experience, and I commemorate the brother for not only coming up here, but for giving the real because... You know, it's protocol. You feel me? Mm-hmm. It's protocol. And I, and I hear him continue to say that. So I know the influences come from which allowed him to be man enough to apologize to you as you to accept his apology mm-hmm. as a young black man. I appreciate that. So in turn, in turn, no, because this is a serious issue nah, outside, you know, and this is what, outside of what you do, this is what brothers need to see because this is a platform mm-hmm. for us black men, young, old, and in between, to show that we can come together for a common cause and be the catalyst because it got to start somewhere. So this is the first step. And you don't know how much influence this night right here today with me and my comrade who has an extensive history, you feel me, to bring this together. And you know what I'm saying? I feel it from the heart because this is something I've always talked about behind the wall. When we came, and a lot of name brand guys, we're not going to let you, we came in and made the difference. You feel me? Cause that's what real niggas do mm-hmm. at the end of the day. So the behind the scenes guys who really care and 
That's why uh, my organization, which I just started, B Man and his organization, right. which technically he just started, we are really in it. We want to see that differences. We want to stop the violence. We want to do all the things we could to get these brothers. We don't want to see them in the penitentiary like we wasted years of our lives because right. we got grandkids. So I commemorate y'all young brothers because y'all are the leaders of the new school. You asked the question about, pardon me. You asked the question about young OGs. Mm -hmm. How old are you? I be, uh, 33 now. 33, you like maybe two years away from the young OG. Mm -hmm. You, him, you. Y'all are the segue, not me. I'm not the same way. I'm out of that range now. He's out of that range. Right. We here to remind y'all. There's the signs of the times. Pay attention to the times of what's going on, man. There's no revolutionary thoughts or bone in many people, black people, but yet there's revolutionary shit going on around us. Mm. We've been left out. We've been left out because we want to be left out. We getting caught up in all kinds of other shit. Which we hear in the music, we emulating that shit. That's not most people's lives, man. Mm -hmm. So you get caught up in it, you know, and dudes who say they care, allowing them to stay stuck in that shit for purposes. That's not for the betterment of us, man. You know what I mean? Remember. I was raised, I was raised, I was raised in a pen. By revolutionaries, James York, Google, oh, shit. Herman Bell. Rest in peace. I was raised by them. I was Ooh. also raised by gangsters. So I was raised by two elements. So I see things ambidextrously. You understand? I want to talk to you in a little bit, but I'm going to ask about you. Um, I definitely want to say uh, salute to the big homie Soul Beat. You know what I mean? Um, for keeping his word. Not that that was dope. And the, the homie Jock, and even Chris for coming in and, and, and apologizing. You know, these are lessons learned in life. You know what I mean? Lessons and and you know, I'm not I'm not too good to apologize or to an accept an apology. You know, sometimes, you know, out of emotions we want to do things or we tend to react. But God put this together. You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel about it. Um Amen. John no. word. And you know I me, mean? I salute. I just want to say that before I get to you know, some of the questions that I have. For 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 the um, before I get to some of the questions that I have, you know, for you. And, uh, I, I have a question for you before you get started. Uh, sure. I, I asked him, how, how'd you feel when you got this whole interview put together? Like, how I asked him, you know, what I'm saying, what was your initial reaction? Uh, <laughs> uh, how'd you feel? Don't know that the, the guy who broke your jaw. He asked for that shit. Yeah, I mean, I know, but you know, I want to know what, what, his, what his thought process was. You know, what I'm saying the guy, the guy who broke your jaw about 12 years ago, that you never well, seen. I don't before. want to be known as the guy that broke his jaw. I know, but oh, just, just, just for the. Yeah, just, just, I didn't mean to do that though. Let me tell you we know, something. I we got know. shot in this yeah. arm. We know, we know. I never used this end until that day, bro. You gotta cut. You, gotta cut. you know what I'm saying? You know you're getting cut. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know that shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, hey, we, we, no, I wanna know, how, how, how'd you feel? What was your initial thoughts on this, this, this show tonight? Like, coming in here tonight, how'd you feel that this was gonna be for you personally? Um, I, I asked, I asked, I asked B.O. I said, Bill asked me a question, put me to the side, like, yo, Flip, did you get your jaw broke? I said, yeah, 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 but I never saw the nigga. I don't know, I, I forgot the nigga looked like. I, never, I only glanced at the nigga that time. I don't know how the nigga looked like. I've been looking for this nigga for years. Right. He said, he said, what you want to do? What, what type of, like, how do you feel about it? I said, I'm past that shit. That shit old. But I definitely want to speak to the nigga and find out why he broke my jaw. Mm. But I didn't intend yeah, no, 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 you and this, I'm just talking about the story. Yeah, yeah. And then B.O. said, I'm going to make that happen for you. So be, so love it. Palmy, palmy. <laughs> the so one and only. So be, palmy, so be. <laughs> All right. So be. You like, share yeah. family secrets now. Uh, so be, so like, I'll make that happen. Mm. He even said it on the show that we did. He said, you ain't see a guy in, in, in 12 years? I'm going to make that happen. I called him on the phone. You know, we were talking on the phone. He said, you going to make it happen. I said, what type of, what's the energy? Like, he said, mm. nah, we ain't. Said, I'm not on it either, but, you know, what's the energy like? What, what are we, you know, doing? 
You know what I'm saying? Because I've been looking for this nigga for years. That's what I told you on the phone. Absolutely. He like, man, Flip, man, Jock is my comrade. It's a respectful thing. You have my word. This is what we're doing. We, everybody's on a respectful, peaceful time. And Absolutely. coming into it, you know, I'm just happy. You know, even seeing him downstairs, he was, he was, you know, he was welcoming. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? He wasn't here mean mugging or his ego didn't get in the way to try to, you know, that was my thing. My well, we Queens niggas, yeah, man. Yeah, my thing. We always go through that. Shit, and I appreciate yeah, that. And yeah. my, my thing was the, <laughs> The, the, the perception or you know at the time now I didn't care you know, I'm, I'm Queens Flip but at the time it's like when you're trying to keep your rep going or keep your representation like you hear all these stories like you got ran out the park and all that stuff so that you know but when I'm just now even downstairs when we were together you know what I mean and that footage will be up for the, on the channel it was love man he, you know he shook my hand and salute I'm, I'm just happy that we able to, to get past it me you know too. I mean? Me too. Nah, this is dope. No, it's it definitely been past something. it, bro. I just this didn't is... like one part. I just didn't like it was like he was antagonizing. Like he didn't realize at that point, but I can understand from that point of view from being a Queens nigga, my yeah, man. Yeah, what was that? You thing? know, like you was like really coming around looking for niggas doing this, doing that. I was like, what's wrong with this nigga? This nigga crazy. I have my jaw broken. Why would I do that, Chris? <laughs> I got shot, nigga. Like, Girl, I got shot too. Shit. Niggas get their jaw broken. You stabbed up. You stabbed up. Stab stab <laughs> 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 stab look, 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 what, 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 like, what was you really going to do? You going to just lay in the park and be looking crazy? <laughs> no, I wasn't. Man. We can't talk about that. The thing is, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, at, at like, no, no, listen, listen, listen. At the time, I know where my mom was at at that time. Yeah. Honestly, as a man, I got my jaw broken. I was queen flip. Do you remember that time you was in the blue X5? He was riding by and you seen me in the car. He was grilling. Tone was like this. Chris, you got beef with that nigga in there? I'm like, nah, nah, nah. Why, why, man? Which tone? Which tone? You, they know tone. Tony Tuck, barbershop, free him. He's coming home next week. No, this week, matter of fact. Look. Oh, Niggas like this, look. He's like, yo, Chris, man, you got beef with that nigga in there? Free Tony Tuck. I'm like this. I don't know. I look back. Oh, that's Sun with the blue X5. We had the blue X5. It was, it was great. Oh, okay. Great, yeah. I, I was wrong. Look, 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 it was like, I'm like this. Who that? I'm like, oh, that's son. He said, you, you did something to him. Because my friends scold me all the time, bro, because this is what I'm known for. I'm known for this and that. That's why I try to stay well, away from people. I, I, don't say, I, I didn't see you. Yo, listen, no, listen. you didn't see him, but you was looking in the car. Like, you was looking for somebody. The only time the, <laughs> only, the, only, the only time that I felt that you were somewhere is when I thought you was next to Domination. Because Domination just kept trying to shoot me away, I felt. No, he came through because let me tell you something about it. No, 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 listen, 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 I'm going to tell you. Domination just kept saying, nah, I put it. And I'm like, is this nigga in the park or something? Because why Domo trying to get me? Nigga, I walked like, right like, in there like, when like, you talk talking about Domino. Like, that's what I'm saying. And I always said that. I said that. You can watch interviews where I said, mm. the only time Domo was like, yo, nah, I walked on the bridge. Go ahead. I said, I just want to meet the nigga, Domo. But when I came through, you ain't show that energy. You was like, this ain't even him. You looking for Indian nigga. You telling niggas this and that and that. I'm yeah, like, but, okay, but so obviously I had... The view. Hold, up. Also, hold, on, wait, wait, hold on. I had the view of you wrong. I thought you was Indian. You look kind of Indian to me now. So yeah. you look like me. Yeah, yeah. I, that's yeah, the yeah, shit. Yeah. I mean, that's what I'm trying to say. I'm like, just you know? saying, but you can't. If, if, I, if I'm looking, if I have it wrong, I have it wrong. Chris, I, no, I had it We I got it, it all wrong, bro. But this one I'm trying to say, listen. Queens. But, yeah, but, you, but, you, but you, you try to let your ego hang out right now as well because you saying that I said I was looking for an Indian nigga, but you knew I had it wrong. No, that's I, crazy. I can say yo, I can say yo, Chris, you was right there. Why you ain't saying yo, flip? I'm right here because I'm looking. Listen, I was we gotta looking, know bro. our history though, homie. Listen, if you we, broke my jaw in two places, my nigga. My shit was hanging, nigga. nigga. Listen, I got plates. That's because I was taught by some OGs, bro. That's good. You can fight. I like that. No, but it's not about that all the time. It's about we didn't we didn't know what's really good, bro. Like, yeah, crazy. Not about that. I didn't even do that. I appreciate that. No, no, we passed that, man. We passed that. Side, man, side, you know what I mean? I'm happy that the two OGs was able to make this happen. That's it. Fact. You know what I'm saying? You know, I, I definitely want to talk to the OG Jock right now because he's bringing up other names that I want to talk about. But I'm happy he was able to make this happen. I think that's dope. I feel good. You know what I mean? It, happy birthday. So happy me, birthday, bro. Happy birthday. That's happy birthday. your birthday, birthday gift. Yeah. Something yeah. you won't ever forget. Round of applause one time. Round of applause, man. man. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all. Big homie Jock, how you doing? Good. Can you, can you before we can you tell us a little history on yourself? You were born in Queens. No. Who's born there? Born in Marcy Projects. Marcy mm. Projects, Brooklyn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When did you come to Queens? Oh, a bit later. Born in Marcy, raised in Brownsville, East New York, then to South Jamaica, Queens. Mm. Okay. So you, you, so you were raised in, and how was it like growing up for you? Shoot. Sure. My mother was a jolly stomper. What does that mean? I, I heard you say that earlier. Mm. <laughs> jolly stomper. Well, you had two. You had two major gangs in Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. You had the Jolly Stormers and you had the Tomahawks. Mm. 
You understand? Black gangs. They they were more dominant. The most dominant get black gangs in Brooklyn in the '60s. Mm. You understand? My mother was a part. My mother was a part of that. So were one of my uncles it was Jolly Stompers. And what was the definition of a Jolly Stomper? Jolly Stompers. Yeah, real happy about it. <laughs> happy about stomping your shit. You know what I mean? Jolly so, Stomp. So, um, from from my birth coming out of Marcy Projects, I moved to 275 Blake Avenue, mm-hmm. Brownsville houses. Stayed a little bit in Tilden, then went over to um, um, Hinsdale between Blake and Dumont, and from there, South Jamaica Queens, Sufton, so, it, South Road. Did you? Mm. Did, oh wow! Mm. Did you? Did you? Did you give trouble as a kid? Like what type of kid were you? I fought all the time. This is about right here, by the way. I did. I fought all the time, bro. I was always into the shit. Why? I was always, my life was like, you know, it was desolate. You know what I mean? You know, my mother was raising boys by herself. We couldn't get the things we wanted, so I went out and got that shit. How many siblings you had? Excuse me? How many siblings did you have? They got three. Three, okay. Did, did, where was your father? You know, you know him? Not there. As you, you know the story. Mm-hmm. Your story you know sounds very similar to... However, the earlier part, Makes the sense. earlier part of my life, man, you know, it was different and shit. My mother and my father was together. My father's upper middle class, so life was different. My mother left my father, shit went straight down, all the way down. You understand? We had to go next door to ask for rice to eat and shit like that. Mm. You understand? So you knew your father? I knew him earlier on. But later on, he, you know, he faded. Moved on. What, 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 he had a whole other family or something? You know? No, my mother didn't want to be around, you know, because of things he was doing. Respect. You know what I'm saying? All right, so she was strong. She she didn't believe in compromising certain things. You know what I mean? Mm. Mm. <laughs> I'm a lover, jolly stomper. Yeah. So so now you got it was three it's, it's, it's three brothers, it's three boys. Yeah. Yeah. And growing up together, you guys were so you was y'all was in the streets. I was mostly. You it was me. Mostly. Yeah. Okay. And then then my brother K came in right after me and shit. You know what I mean? When was the first time you got locked up? Hmm. I don't remember. Do you remember the first time you met Soul B? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely, that like? definitely. What definitely. was that like? It was, it was in the midst of turmoil. We got to remember, we was on Rikers Island, you know what I mean, 83, 84. There was a lot going on at that time, with straight chaos. So 50 was there, all these names. 50 Brandon, Cent was there. Um, Jimmy Henchman, a.k.a. Yes. Jimmy Ace. Bush. Bush. Um, Derek yeah. Hamilton. Chewbacca, you know. Shaw. Yeah. Shabaka, yeah. you know the brothers, free all that. Well, they already free. Yeah, they free. Yeah. But those homies, yeah. you know, I mean, those are comrades right there, you know. So how'd y'all connect? Y'all yeah. two? Um, Please. Calvin Klein, you know, it was a few yeah. few guys, you know yeah. what I mean? Mm. How'd y'all connect though? Y- y'all two, like, how'd y'all bond? It was like, effortless. Yeah, effortless it just, just kind of happened. It happened because Ken Do Word is born. That's when all the guys yes. Ken Do Word is born from all, uh, uh, from New York Boulevard. You know what I'm saying? May rest in peace. You know what I mean? That's my uh, boy. That's my Bob Kim, not not not, not, not from Naquan Big Nay. Yeah, Big Nay. You know what I'm saying? It was uh, just, Jamel, Jamel from from um over by Lincoln Park. Yeah, you know what I mean, it was a Queens house too. Yeah, all that was from Queens. That was the guards. It was all from Queens, and I came down from up north. It's my first bit. Yeah, and I came into the house. You know, at that time, that's when I was B original, B O, the guard. The God, you mm. feel me? And it just clicked because you know my roots is in Queens too. Although, so BQE always been there. So it was just, mm. it was just the love. You feel me? It was just the love, and from that, from night was this eighty four. That's thirty five yeah, years. Eighty four. And that Turn camaraderie down. to present. I'm talking about from the can to the land to the can back to the land. <laughs> it's real dumb. Love it, man. So, 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 and you, you got you, how much time you did in the system? Together, twenty-four and a half. What, what did you, what did you go to jail for? Various things. Various. I have twelve felony convictions. Wow. Twelve felony convictions. And most of them, most of them came by way of prison from the prison system. Not, man. not in the street. Mm. But what did you go on initially? Do you remember? Initially, it was for uh, 
an assault with a deadly weapon. Oh, okay. Got you. I saw your hand gesture, so that, 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 that you know, that. Indicate the gun. Yeah. <laughs> and then you caught the rest of your charges while you were incarcerated. Yeah, basically. No, not all of them. Because I came home, I did, you know, I did a short stint in the beginning. Okay. They did a lot of um, youthful, youthful programs back then. Well, youthful sentences. So I was sentenced, you know what I mean? I was given a break through my sentences. Three cases, running concurrent, all of them gun charges or robberies. You understand? So I did about four years, came back home, and then went back for double the time I did the first time. Hmm. He was out here booking niggas, basically. I was a part of all kinds of stuff, just like a whole lot of other people. <laughs> living in the dregs, you understand? So, you look like you're a man that knows how to answer questions well. Uh, you know, um, that's, that's not, but you was, you know, you was out here putting pain in. Let me say that. For you purposes. You're not, you're, not, you're not glorifying it. It's old. Yeah, that shit is, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. To be I honest it. with you. I, got, I mean, you know what? We, we, we can go back to, to know where we, we can go going, back to on the north side. This, exactly. Like, let me give you something. You got the little homies on the north side. You got the homies on the north side. Um, Rashid, um, No Neck Teddy. Um, 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 uh, what's all your names in the feds now, okay? Um, Shug. Shug, that's in the feds now. You know what I mean? Um, Pep. You know what I mean? All those guys from that side. We grew up fighting those guys. Marty. You know what I mean? Uh, um. What's the boxing kid name that Bump sponsored? There's a kid who Bump 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 sponsored from off from off of Farmers Boulevard. Okay. Tony wow. Malloy, his name is Tony Malloy. Mm -hmm. He used to box. I had a fight with him in the Coliseum. No, excuse me, the bus terminal. Mm -hmm. You too. Because there used to be a lot of things going on in the '80s, man, with South Jamaica and Hollis. It got to the point that where South Jamaica didn't allow us to come to Jamaica Avenue. Couldn't even come. Mm. We're talking about 83, 84, 82, 83, 84. Until I went in. It got that bad. But again, when we went to prison, them dudes came to prison, I looked out for them. Wow. At the time, Queens wasn't even living like that. I'm coming to seeing dudes from Queens washing clothes and shit. You're getting the commissary taken. There's only a handful that's really putting that pain in. Or holding it down. You know what I mean? It was a point, it was a time when, you know, they called for court. Yo, we got Brooklyn in court. Queens! <laughs> wow. I was the one who was smacking dudes in their face when Brooklyn was talking that shit. But I was born in Brooklyn. But the fact that I lived in South Jamaica, Queens during that time, me going back and forth to prison, that was South Jamaica, Queens. I was 15 years old on 150th Street, 150. Mm. I was 15, I was working for the only queen pen. I was a lieutenant for Kelda, the only yeah, queen pen. Yeah. You understand? Well, let's shout out to Pappy Mason. Shout out to Hilda, God Wader, bless her. Way of Queens. Pappy the homie. That's right. He's Brooklyn, but he rep Queens to the death of Well, the Bebos, they put their painting in Queens. Yes. Yeah. You said who? The Bebo. Bebo Posse. That was Poppy uh, crew. Yeah. You know, they put yeah. that painting in Queens. They came through by way of, of Cat, of course. Okay, yeah, by through Cat. You know That's what I mean? right. That was but, Pap, you know, man. But, Pap, 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 good dude. Pap, good dude, man. Pap was a good guy, man. The boy Spear. Who, okay, who was Hilda? Who was that? Hilda. Hilda. She Hilda. was a queen pin. Yes. She was from Alabama, just like a lot of other major kingpins in, at the time. You know, they came from either Alabama or they was Geechees from out of South Carolina. You know what I mean? Based or came from. You know what I mean? She came from up there with her children. She had more children when she got here. You know what I mean? But she had children by other kingpins as well. Mm. So she was in position on the block. Yeah, we know about one five one. I ain't gotta oh, explain that to you. That little ass block with the basketball hoop at the end of it. <laughs> no, there's no basketball hoop on 150 four. Street. No, we're four, talking about 150. Oh, you're talking about 164 oh, Street. 50 is about something. No. Which one I'm talking about over there? You're talking um, about 164. Oh, that's what with the basketball at the end of it is 164. The little basketball hoop at the end of it. That's 164. That's that's fucking block. Yeah. Look like Baltimore, right? I hate that block, bro. Yeah. Look like oh, Baltimore. I love that. 
Yeah. That's my block, sound block. Or yeah. that's how I the ground. That's that was originally my stomping ground. I left it alone, of course, you know what I mean? Okay. You gotta leave the shit alone, period. Mm -hmm. So that's that's my block. But what I'm trying to explain to you, 150th Street, mm -hmm. it's a one block situation, but you have like six kingpins on that block. Hmm. You got yeah, this was, is history. This is Queen's history, man. What's the definition of kingpin to you, mm -hmm. or in general? Oh, kingpin, one who supplies many. And you had six on one block. Five or six, definitely. And what Miss Miss Hilda was one in the fray okay, as a she, queenpin. Was she a top dog? Was she? Yeah, she ran her own operation. Is she alive yeah. still? Yeah. Excuse me. Is she still alive? No, she died some um, some years ago. Okay. Okay. God bless her. Yeah. Shout out to Hilda. Yeah. Ma. And so she, 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 you, you was a vice president? No, I was a lieutenant under her. Lieutenant, pardon me. Yeah, lieutenant. at the time. Young, 15, 16 years old. They, they didn't allow guys that young on that block. You couldn't come through that block that young. You couldn't walk through that block if you was a pregnant woman. It was like that block was off, off grounds to most people. In, in, in saying that, there was protocols we followed. Uh -huh. You understand? You couldn't serve certain people. There's a lot of things you couldn't do. The protocols were, were intact, and they stopped a lot of things from happening that you see now. It's nothing but straight chaos now. Yeah. Without protocol, and everybody living that protocol, there's going to be nothing but chaos. A lot of chaos. So, all right, so let's, let's fast forward. So you go to jail. Um, what happens... In there, like you said, that you were smacking ninjas in the mouth or people in the mouth that would disrespect Queens. How was it hard for you in jail? It's hard for everybody in jail. <laughs> jail ain't easy. When we talking about the most deadliest decade, it, it ain't easy. I ain't have it easy. They got scars all over me, bro. One thing I got to tell you is this while in prison, I was one of the first individuals to go to war against Latin Kings before there was many years before blood. You understand? Before Latin, before before the lion was even formed under Scully and Shower. Although I was born here, I'm Rastafarian. So I'm black lion. You understand? I understand, yeah. Yeah. I was I was a black lion before Scully started Black Lion. Mm -hmm. In my spirits, the things I did. Mm -hmm. I didn't really have too much problems with like my people. I had a couple scraps with my people, but it was over principal shit. But most of my shit was against Latino aggression, you know? And the Latin Kings, explain how they was in jail back in the day. What was, what were their goals, you think? In the beginning, when King Blood came over from Chicago, he spread it. In, he spread it that. He spread it that organization in the Bronx, mostly in the Bronx, amongst the Puerto Ricans particularly of Latinos, Puerto Ricans. Um, I say like around not around 89, they start trickling in. Start trickling in. Mm -hmm. But they made a protocol where they had to shoot a black guy in order to become king. You just can't get king up. You got to shoot somebody. And shoot in jail terms is cut. In my time... You get something 12 inches stuck in you. Not just cut. You can get something 12 inches, 10 inches stuck in you. You got to also, you got to remember, I, I did time with him during the most dangerous years in prison time, man, in New York City, New York State, New York City and State. The 80s is the most deadliest decade. But why was the Hispanics and the blacks beefing, you think? You said that the guy from uh, Puerto Rico was beefing with the blacks and the Hispanics guy came from Chicago? King Blood. King Blood? Yeah. That's his name. Okay. Well, name King, but his name is King Blood. Yeah. Gotcha. So King Blood came and he... Established it here in New York in the Bronx area. Okay. But, and then, but was Hispanics and blacks always beefing? It always had, yeah, it's always been racial, racial tensions, definitely. Definitely. You're going to have that anywhere in the country. Mm -hmm. That's anywhere in the country. You understand? It always had that. But the difference with New York, what made New York a little different with that was you had Puerto Ricans who said, I'm the original black man, the owner of the creamer. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? 
You didn't find that nowhere else in the country with Latinos. So it was a little different. And at that time, those who who proclaimed to be God, who, who claimed God, to be God body, they had issues with their own people. Well, most of them. So was there ever a point where the, 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 the Latin kings, the word I'm trying to use, like, got one up? You know what I'm saying? Like, what? yes. Oh, definitely. Yes. In, in, definitely. In, in the pivotal years that I told you. Definitely. In between, like I said, 91, 92, 93. That was, and they have documentaries on that. I like, like I said, it spread like wildfires, you know, amongst the Spanish community. And these were new Spanish guys. These was in the Spanish guys that grew up with us, South yeah, Jamaica. Yeah, they, they were very young. Ula, right? These were Spanish guys that didn't really have a direct connection to us. You, you feel what I'm saying? And that's why it spread so quick. And a lot of them was coming off of the streets, doing what they doing. Because remember, was, Latin King was different than, 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 than blood in the sense where Latin King started in the street. That started in the street. That didn't start in New York City streets. It didn't start in New York City prisons. Yeah, it was a social order that started in 1940. Mm. Their history go that deep in Chicago. Yes. They're part of the People's Alliance. They ride the five. Love, peace, truth, freedom, and justice. That's what their original format was, as well as the Peace Stones, you know what I'm saying, and other organizations. Out of you Chicago, know, definitely. Jeff Ford, you know, who's one of the founding members of the Black Peace Stone Rangers. You know, so that was their format. But, you know, just like any other format, you can start off positive, but then individuals have ulterior motives. Right. So intelligence and ignorance, which I always say is nemesis. So I'm no longer going to educate you like we see in these streets today with these young guys. But I respect the fact of Chris because I know that was him. And the OGs, he said, see what he said, Supreme. All the, all the guys that gave him protocol. So when the big homie made a call, he didn't question it. Because he knew he had his best interest at hand. Right. Like I'll explain to you. We good. My comrade said we good, because he going to let me know. If it ain't good, it ain't good, boy. If it's good, then we here. And we made it happen. You had, you got cut in jail? Yes, I did. How many times? Four. Do you remember that day? I remember East Battle. You remember East Battle? Yeah. What happened? You share it? Well, um, it depends on what in particular. There's, there's many different battles, man. What were you got cut, man? I got cut in 1980, 1986. I got cut in 1989, 1986. I got cut, 1986, I was, I was there. I was, um, I was 19 years old. Well, I was, we was 20. Yes. We were 20 years old. I was in Clinton, down and more. And, um, a pair, a pair of sneakers got, a pair of Red ballies down. got, 86. Just disappeared out of my, out of my cell. So I'm like, y'all come back to my cell. I'm like, oh, dudes is sneak thief, you know? Dude's guy got me for that, huh? So what I did was I sent a kite out to one of the big homies. The kite got inter got intercepted, and the information got back to the dude who I got I asked for a gun for. You understand? So he was actually waiting for me. He was actually waiting for me. But before he, before that happened, we went into the yard. The yard, the jail almost went up. Because of that incident, because of that incident, me uh, uh, bringing forth um, drama to the OG who I sent the kite to because they found out who I was sending the, the, the letter to. And he was approached. If, and I stopped that. He was approached. I stopped that. But we ain't going to say no names. He was approached. So it got to the point that he, he was approached. So be stop something hap from happening to him. Yo, homie. It would have been crazy. No, we came to the yard. They just shut it down. They just had the big ride with all the guards from Queens and the Spanish and, and white, the white boys. boys. Shut the whole jail. The out. white boys and the Spanish got together against the against the guards. 
Queens. Oh, and Queens. Queens. This, 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 that was a moment for Queens. The gods, too. But, yeah, it was a moment for Queens, but they try to isolate a situation. So now, when Big Bro come out, name brand. When I say name, name brand, brand. Mm. name brand, Queens Finest. I ain't going to continue no more. But, so, I'm out in the yard. I'm out in the yard. No, this is true story. Cool. Jack already got locked down because him and the brother went gun to gun. He stabbed the brother. The brother cut him. But it's crazy because after that, the brother he went gun to gun with never took him. Somebody else, Mandingo, may he rest in peace, stole it. He died. My boy Mandingo, rest in peace. But anyway, so we out in the yard. So Big Brother's like, yo, you going to work out? Man, I'm going, I don't care what happened in the yard, nigga. You know, I'm going to work out. I'm young, wild. So we come in the yard. I see the Spanish dudes forming. I'm like, yo, because of the kite he sent out that had the individual name in, asking to get a gun to him for the other individual who was Spanish. Mm. So they come to me. He was like, yo, I'll never forget it. He was like, pay bro, come in. So I peek it. I see. I said, oh, shit. So now big bro on the wall. He said, it's about to go down. No ifs, ands, buts in between. And he disarmed. So he come to me. He's like, baby, bro, let me talk to you. He said, yo. That motherfucker right there, because they didn't like him anyway. They was hating on him. But they said, that motherfucker right there, his name was mentioned in the kite for Babe Bruh about a gun. So I go, I said, well, hold up for a minute. I go over to Big Bruh. I said, Big Bruh, you mentioned some kite with Jock in the situation? He was talking about that on the last show, yeah. No, I never told you this. No, this is different. Positive, this is the Different reason situation. I'm telling because the man is here gotcha, who's gotcha, involved. Gotcha. That's why I'm, I'm adding on because he was already locked down after the situation. This okay. is the after effect. Respect. Oh. So when I asked Big Bro, he I said Big Bro, because it's like any second you you out of here. So I said Big Bro, tell me the truth. Did you ever? Did you? He said no. I looked at him. I said all right because I'm putting my life on the line now. Oh, I, know. I never told the story, bro. I'm telling you, Flip. I never told you this story. I know who it is. You so, tell me the story. Well, anyway, I goes back to them. I said, listen, tell Big Bro, that's the guy who went gun to gun with Jock. I said, tell Big Bro who's a big bro of mine. I said, tell Big Bro my life on that. He ain't had nothing to do. So the Spanish brothers was there, was like, looked at me, he was like, Hey, bro, you going to put your life? I said, I'm going to put my life on that. You know what I'm saying? He said, all right, cool. And we walked, went and worked out. Boom. Two days later, I left. Went to out around that. Big bro got the reverse one, came home. Facts. I want to apologize yeah. to you. Because you told me that privately. That made me crib. All right, then. Call me. Call all right, me. Yes. yes. Well, I apologize. Just but the me. only reason I spoke of it, because the man who got it initially you. happened. Got you. And these was named, that's why I say, a lot of name brand dudes. So I, you know, no disrespect because, you know, respect is always humbly given. Mm -hmm. You feel me? I'm always courtesy respect, but the facts is the facts. So that's the only reason I shared it without no names. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. We don't... <laughs> because, no. Yeah, you got it. Because what happens you gotta, is sometimes you gotta with them. facts, yes, we have to. Respect. We have to. By all means necessary. So that's why I said, when I say certain things, I can uh, integral, but I don't want to destroy idols. I'm not an idol destroyer. Because some things happen, you know what I'm saying? Again, no names. Some things happen. I feel some of the big homies left me out there. Facts. They did. They uh -huh. left me out they there. They left, yes. I'm only 19, 20 years old in Clinton down the more. You understand? I felt left out there. But the thing was, I had a, a, another set of homies that stepped up for me and held me down. You know what I'm saying? On being everything. That's how I got to put work in my motherfucking self. You know what I mean? But it was because another group stepped up. But literally, in Clinton down at the time, we was totally outnumbered. Totally outnumbered by them. Totally. You understand? Totally. So that issue with me and the, hom with the, the homie, that was the catalyst to a whole bunch of other, a major riot. 
that you've never seen yet. Again, that kicked off a major race riot when I went when I got locked down. When me and homie got locked down, you know what I mean? And we ran back and we ran to a get into each other again. You had people trying to rebel rouse the shit up again. It almost went there. I went home Comstock. He was in Comstock. But the big homie, um uh, uh, KB, big K B yes. and um Born Just. Yeah. Born BJ. Just, BJ. Salute to the guy. They like told me fall back, whatever, go home. I came back again for a ten year stint and ran to him. Again, and with and, and with with still more of that shit in my heart, I wanted to go again. When I got the sing sing and he was dead, I got kites. They sent me, flew me kite jockeys here. I'm like, what? Okay, we're gonna get it rocking again. So he was dead. So I let him know. He sent me a kite back ASAP. Yo, no fall back. These dudes around y'all don't even do that. Dudes want to see you and him get at it because they're scared of him. And they want to see you get him out of here. They want both of y'all out of here. Which was true. He was in the jail extorting motherfuckers and shit. <laughs> doing what he do. And they wanted me to get at him. So they can get they can get him out of there. Using me in the apparatus to get him out of there. But I felt we had a conversation in the yard. I approached him in the yard. We spoke. We, we walked off on our own. Told everybody else. The entourage and all that shit fall back. He, he basically put it together. Because it was going to get ugly. This is my guy. You feel me? It was going to get ugly, well, You feel me? And I know y'all went one round. Both of y'all came out bloody. Respect that. You feel me? So I'm going to type, you my man, you my man. Somebody told me you, you act like that earlier. Somebody told me that earlier. That's just, you my man, you my man. So that had to like, if it did, then okay. Y'all go, like the young brother said, go do what y'all got to do. Nobody else involved in themselves. I have one more question for you. Because we're going to definitely, you know, two more questions. But, um, when questions come, first of all, I, your man, Chris, sent me a question just like she did last time. So, yeah, you know, yeah, Why fuck that. I'm blowing up. Right? I'm blowing up. I'm blowing up. What's that? I'm saying, ask, ask the question. Yeah. <laughs> nah, my fault. My fault. Because I don't want niggas to think I mean, I mean, I don't remember it. Man. <laughs> but I sent you one this time, too. So. Yeah, yeah, I was going to Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, he, you know, the question that I read just now was Southside and Hollis used to go back and forth back in the days. I guess who was the more victorious, that's the question, but, you know, mm. in, in, in other words, in the, in the positive words, who was like the aggressor, who was, you know, victorious in those exchanges? Hollis put work in. Hollis crew, the Hollis crew put work in. Hollis crew put work in. But Southside 17 was more notorious, more successful in battles overall. Because basically... We went out to places where Queens dudes went or had to go out to in order to enjoy themselves. Like, for instance, um, USA, USA Roller Skating Rink. Uh -huh. That was a famous roller skating rink in Queens. Uh -huh. Everybody went there from Queens. Astoria, Queensbridge, 40, everybody went there. Where was that at? Jackson Heights and Roosevelt. Roosevelt, Roosevelt and Jackson Heights. It's, I think it's a supermarket now or something. They before. Right next to the highway. Like, mm -hmm. right next to the highway. So, uh, a few times, Hollis crew came there, and we actually, you know, wiped, mopped the floor with them. You know what I'm saying? Mm. We mopped the floor with them every time they came there. You understand? We did the same thing to dudes from Brooklyn that came there. You know what I mean? Dudes from Brooklyn come there, they rob, they rob, they steal, they do what they do. I, that's what I used to do. I grew up that way. You know what I'm saying? I used to do the same thing. But now I'm living in Queens. So we doing it back to them. You understand? Robbing whole trains. The whole train, all cars. Those type of things. You know what I'm saying? USA Roller Skating Ring, we took it over. Southside 17. Most dudes from Queens, they can attest to this. Most dudes from Queens can attest to this. You got the twins out of Woodside. They can attest to this. You got Devon from out of from Left Rack City. They can attest different parts of Queens. They can attest to this. YG out of Queensbridge. 
one of the most official out of Queens Bridge. YG. They can attest to this. Sounds like 17 rule today. I heard the name though. Southside 17 started right off of Sutton Boulevard. Between Sutton Boulevard, South Road, Linden Boulevard, Sutton, all the way down to the back streets to Van Wick, down to Liberty Avenue. No, actually 89th Avenue. Mm -hmm. That territory, they it was a group of guys who put together, it was 17 of them. They they grouped together and they went, they started it because they had to do something about Hollis going to Andrew Jackson. They used to go to Jackson and get jumped by Hollis guys. Mm. So they created the South Side 17. But it was sanctioned. It had to be sanctioned. It was sanctioned by the Seven Crowns. The Seven Crowns had to sanction it. Mm. Those were my big homies. You understand? So after it was sanctioned, my big homies passed it on to me a few years later, later mm. and gave me the South Side 17. When they had it, it was maybe like 25 of them. When they pass it over to me, I took it up to like 200, 250 members. You know what I mean? We used to patrol Jamaica Avenue regularly looking for Hollis dudes. That's how bad it got in the early 80s. Who was a part of Seven Crowns? I think my pops was a part of one of, one of them joints back in the day. You got the Fatalto brothers. Fatalto brothers, my gosh. Yeah. My man Joe Brown, he was the warlord. Well, Dave Wright was part of, part of the joint? Excuse me? Monkey and Wright, you heard of them before? Of course, I'm 40. Monkey, my pops. Monkey or Pops? Facts. Tell Monkey I said hello. I will do so. And the little brother. Who, um, Timmy? Yeah. Tim <laughs> yeah. Tell Timmy I said hello. Monkey Yeah. Tell Sharice I said hello. Facts. Yeah. Facts. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. There you go. You're showing off. I, I heard something crazy. Actually, I, I, I grew up, you know, coming from East New York, starting from East New York, I started coming to Queens by myself to visit my grandmother who lived. Right, right at the corner. 106, 06, at the corner. 106-06, mm -hmm. 160th Street. Right, facts. I partially was raised up in that apartment on the third floor, 3C. Wow. I grew up with Chomp, Head. Mm -hmm. I grew up with them. Those the homies. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got something to say. <laughs> My aunt lives 108, what, 05? Yeah, 105, yeah. Like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Living there over 40 years. I heard you. You probably you live in that you live over there? Nah, but I grew up I grew up there. I know you grew up over there. Alright, alright. Well, you know. So the links, bro. Yeah, yeah. The links. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm my not grandma's still there, you know what I'm yeah. saying? So my aunt whole, still the whole 40, there. That's, that's 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 fans level. I'm, I'm good over there, you know what I'm saying? Definitely. Those my big homies, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Actually, you know, you know, when 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 the Beebos when Beebos was in power and I came home, I came home from Comstock when they were in power. Like around what was that? 87, right? I came home like around 87. He was in power. I came right into the mix of a whole lot of shit. You know what I mean? And to be honest with you, the level of the Bebo at that time was Pappy. When he got locked up, the rest of them start acting up crazy. And I had to spank their ass. Mm. You know what I mean? I'm going to wait for a little while. So, How can we, how can we uh, real quick, uh, you know, I'm going to wrap it up. How can we uh, get you back up here to, uh, here to just talk to you about your story? We can talk about it. Okay. You can arrange the time. Hey, what's up with you? What did you real quick? You, you, you mentioned you said you have a nephew uh, named Sleep. What's, what's up with him? Yeah, Sleep, man. You know he's, he's caught up right now, but he'll be out well, how, soon. How do you how do you hear about these stories? What do I don't hear about? I'm just saying, how do you hear about it? because you asked me about you asked me oh, you know that's what you asked me. You know my and you said it with confidence and it, it took me off. I always speak with confidence. Yeah, but what made you say that? I mean, you know, you, did you hear a story? Did you like number one? Shit? Where you from? Queens. Where? Lending the Farmers. Mm. Where you call that? North side. I call it uh, North Side. Okay. I said I have a nephew on the North Side. You did? You right. Did. And actually, did you know him? No, but you said his name. A lot of people on the North Side. You said his name because you knew that him and I came across each other. See, there you go making things up. Well, I have no That wasn't you. my intentions. What was your intention, OG? I respect you. My, smile, my intention slick. was only the yeah. new. You might want to slick ill niggas from back in the day that walked down the stairs. <laughs> 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 you, you got that feel for me, so I, was, I just want to know yeah. what your uh, intention was saying. Yeah. <laughs> Plain and simple, you're from the north side. Okay. Actually, if you knew my nephew, I'm gonna say how I caught you. When I when I when I didn't remember. Plain and simple. When I didn't remember. When I didn't remember. Thank you. You said. 
You sure you, 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 get, you gave me that look like. I did. When I didn't remember, I'm like, Steve, I heard that name before, but you gave me a look like you, you was aware that I knew him. Now, my thing is, you have to know him. Mm. Why? Because sleep is who sleep is. Okay. And, he's from the, and you're talking about Shadyville. So if I say sleep, you, anybody's supposed to know who sleep is in Shadyville. Yeah, but I'm not from Shadyville. But you'd be over there. No, I haven't been. I haven't. How do you know him so well? How do you know? I had a run-in with him. I knew his brother. No, you knew his brother, though. I knew his brother, but I had a run-in with sleep. But you knew his brother. Yes, I did. Sleep was locked up. I knew when we was That's why you didn't know him. But you knew his brother. Yes, I did. Brother for the pain. Yeah. Okay. I gave his brother credit, yeah. Yeah. Brother helped me down at Van Buren. That's short, what they do. Short, yeah. Short, short guy with I don't know if he still got praise. Hopefully he doesn't. You know, the child has changed. So Coco, my, my, my man, I love him. What? Mm -hmm. Love him to death. Hopefully he doesn't. <laughs> Coco. <laughs> Help me down. I, he was one of the Coco first good. people. good. He was one of the first people besides Joker. And Joker's my cousin, but him. That helped. We met in front of Van Buren and he held me down. Coco will always be my man. But what That's what's up. Had. I love him. Shout Coco, sleep. I'm but I did have a run with sleep at the at Spoiler Valley. You know what I'm saying? But we gonna talk about that later, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But yo, we gotta wrap it up because my sis gotta go. I hear the sound. All right, well, you know, <laughs> this was the Hello. this was the yo, foundation. Yo, 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 so me. Hold on, beloved. I gotta Let's leave. Go, Hold on, me. I'm gonna go. All right, all right. Let me do the proper introduction. Oh, oh, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> come on, man. Like, come on. We got podcasts we working on, man. All right. <laughs> Yo, we'll first see. Of all, shout out to the homie Chris. Super coming through, right man. There, man. You know what I mean? Once again, man, I appreciate you. Big queens, big queens. Big queens. I mean? queens. Big queens. Queens. I appreciate Urgent. you for pulling up and, and being comfortable. And I'm comfortable. And, and for even having a, the, you know, respect of my home. You know what I'm saying? That, that, you know, they say you could tell how a man is by, by how he, you know, Come to your home and have respect, and I, I, I salute you for that. Always on the side, man. Yeah. And you know, man, right. salute to the big homie Jock. Appreciate you for coming up here. Right. We can, we're gonna exchange information because we would like to get a one on one interview with you. And so be one and only. If you know another, he's a phony. Oh, yeah. But uh, <laughs> That's I, I just want to say this because this is the beginning of something that I really, I really want to do. And right. like I said, my organization, Be Mad, which is an acronym for Black Men Making a Difference. We made a difference here today. We did. Mm -hmm. So anybody that want to get in touch with me, you can get in touch with me through Black Mogul Inc. at gmail.com. You know, and... Or uh, DM you. Uh, DM me. S dot O dot U dot L E. Oh, yeah. S dot L dot... S dot O O dot U dot L B. Salute. I'm out. Right. Instagram, Vanguard Black. Straight. Vanguard Black. You can DM me there. Rise up situation. Salute. Salute. I'm out. I'm going to see him on the read yeah, yeah. Hold on, let's take a second so we can sign out. We got to sign out. We got to sign out. Yeah, yeah. So, what's your Instagram, Chris? I don't do Instagram. Queens niggas. Queens niggas. Queens niggas don't do Instagram. I do it, nigga. I don't. Yeah, yeah. Sign out, man. Nah, I definitely want to just co-sign what they were saying. I also feel like even for you know you, you did a big move coming up here, but even for my man, you know, knowing him for knowing him for all these years since since the situation before that, you know what I'm saying, he's definitely definitely grown as a person, as a man, you know what I'm saying. So I want to salute him as well, you know what I'm saying for for for, for uh you know, because this show could have went went crazy. I know him even that day, you know that happened, you know around that time was a lot of stuff going on with him, you know before and after. A lot of people behind the scenes, bro. That make this possible even for the future, but nah, yeah. before then, you know, we have a lot of love on our end. I want to see more of this, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, like I said, I wanted to salute him uh, as well as you guys too, but me knowing him personally from all these years and seeing the growth and seeing it happen today, because I know him, this situation could have been, you know what I'm saying, Listen, way I'm, different. I'm but, all about experience, bro. Yeah. I got shot on my birthday. Wow. All right, that was the worst birthday present I can get. 
had I had other ones, but that was one of the worst ones, bro. Mm. You don't have too much time on this earth, bro. That's facts. You know what I'm saying? Try to make friends with everybody. If you fuck with we black, we just sit together, and that's it, man. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's a fact. We out of here, man. DJ G Money, one five six on the Instagram. Every Thursday, Tipsy Thursdays, we in the building. Um, yeah, man. It's Queen Slip, you are TV. Happy birthday, man. Thank you, man. Happy birthday to you, man. Happy birthday Happy Girl Strong. Happy Girl Strong. Both of y'all. Yeah. Salute. Both of y'all. Salute. Happy birthday. Hold on, wait, let me finish signing out. Happy birthday to Can I sign out, brother? Happy birthday to Oh, I'm about to delete your phone. Happy birthday. Your birthday's over. It's G Money's birthday. Happy birthday. That's Queen Slip, man. You know, classic episode today. Yes. Um, and I, I definitely appreciate everybody that came out. My man, So B, man. You know, we have a lot of work ahead of us. Um, remember, lock your doors, close your windows, close your blinds, look through your blinds. And if you see a nigga like Jock and Chris on your lawn, let Jock in. He's cool. Watch out for Chris. He might punch you in your jaw. I'm from Queens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.